chat cover off. Does the game function? It appears so. Alright, we're back. I need to get in squad. Need to get in team speak. I need to enjoy my snack. I need something to open my snack. Where are my scissors? Do I not have scissors up here? It's, it's like kind of working. <laughs> sort of working. It worked! Good. A snack today is just hummus and veggies again. I've been into it lately. It makes you feel healthy, so you eat just garbage all day. And then you uh, come up at the end of the day and you're like, Ah, I had veggies. I'm taking care of myself. We are in SORBO. I'm in. Dugan. He's usually next to the Heroics Notary, isn't he? Mark he is. And what am I running? What is this build? Why do I have Signet of Vampirism on? Does this make any sense? Eh, that's good enough. Now, quietly. Did you want to come? I have played a lot of Berserker lately. I would be happy to swap, but if anyone else wants to, go for it. I kind of wanted to just ape out on Reaper a bit tonight. It's your turn for Commander Guard, so yeah. Alright, let me go mic up quick so I can enjoy my snack.
This is a fine. Thanks, video games. Let me finish this carrot and uh, thank you properly. There we go. So it's my only opportunity to eat since like 4 p.m. today. It's actually only like five hours. It sounds not as bad when you say it. I'm gonna go see who these dots are. Well, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. I am not looking forward to the immediate next one. I just have a strong dislike of Corno, but the three maps after that I I like a lot. I think Jahai is like okay. I really like Thunderhead and I really like Dragonfall. So Wednesday is gonna be a pretty long day. Thursday, Friday, Saturday will be fun ones. Who is this? If you get tired of being queued, you have Girl on red map for us fighting what I think might be Godel. I'm trying to figure out what the dots are. Well, I'm not on map, so... No, it sounds like a comp problem, because I swapped Zerker. By request. Because I was told to. Oh yeah, it's just, it's just Fear and Doc. They're not going to fight. Never mind, I didn't mean all that. But also there's LJs. Hang on, there's a blue group here, too? <laughs> Dude, this place is popping off. Blank is stealthing? Oh, I see what he's doing. I gave away his position. I'm a fool. Hang on. He's portaling? This is a big group for him to fight alone. Oh, they repaired the wall. That's bad for him. <laughs> I'm on red. Then how'd I get there, forehead? Then how come I didn't get into blue, forehead? Or green, or whatever map you're on. Oh, wait, who's this? No, Nova came here. Nova's queuing it. I don't know. Oh, my queue popped. Later, nerds. I'm in combat. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna spawn in dead. I was in combat when I took the portal. Don't yell at me. I came in dead because I was helping my team on the old map. I wouldn't expect you to understand.
Alright, we're going to be fighting in here for a while. So I'll go mic on. And then next time we're, we're running to a different objective, we'll go finish a couple more snackies. How does Berserker work? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Get to full adrenaline. Anyone who gets close, immob them. Like you, you're very lucky. Nice pull. Lock him up. Punt him. You're not leaving this lord's room. Okay, one down. Looking behind. Behind is building an AC. You know what? There might not be anything here to fight. Might just be like a couple people. It is just going to be a couple people. That's disappointing. Let me go look. Thirty-four. Yeah. That shot runs like semi-open, so he's probably gonna have five or ten more people on him. They just don't join comms. Get this cannon dead. Get this oil dead. Do we have a shot on it? We do. Bada, Bane, Fear, Doc, Godal. Pack, yeah. DD. Who else is in this matchup? I think I think TG is in this matchup. They don't, no. It's just another enormous PvE guild that hasn't really managed to make the transition into World v. World.
Alright, let's get this started. Got Bane on Outer Bomb. Got someone else on the other gate. Jesus. Biggest priority for me, get into combat. Like, I can use the oil very easily. He's pulling off it. It's not a good corner for me to drop damage on. Like, if I'm dropping Scorched Earth, Scorched Earth is straight lines only. So him coming around a corner like that is difficult for us to wrangle. And then he's going to have about 10 DD on him as well. So I'd expect Bane to be like 55. Here's my adrenaline. I'm gonna take one more of these. Oh, one more Scorched Earth. And then swap me into Hammer. Banner down. I'm in a horrible spot. I needed the Evade Frame, didn't quite get it off. Now give me the Banner Tactics. Who's this? Oh, it's Chew and Indo. Hello. Alright, get me back into Longbow now. Who is that? We lost, we lost Herrick, we lost Plagues. I don't love being up here, but... Alright, Scorched Earth, Scorched Earth. That's, yeah, obliterated. We've got way too many now. Goodbye. Now, how big were they? That's what I want to see the fight bot spit out. I called mine. Indo South. Can I convert this myself? Probably not. Maybe if I'd use Zerk on it, but I might need that for another... Never mind, I'll just use it here. Leap again. Generate these downs. Fire a Scorched Earth out here. Immob him if you can. Immune? Okay. Launch another one in there. Those are all minions. I don't think I need to worry about those. This guy, though, I kind of want. Can't get across the line, though. And I do have Zerk. Here, I need my self-stab, because I'm a little in the tail at this point. Convert this one. Convert this one. Lucky. Trying to res your friend? Don't do that. I'm not going to need Zerker where I'm going, so I might as well throw a Scorched Earth on him. And I'm just like, don't get caught in the tail here. Super speed your friends. We out.
This is just going to be Indo alone versus Bane. He might be able to do something with it. Rithal said you want alone in map chat. Indo didn't say no, but he also didn't say yes. So I think we're just going to chill. Kind of screwed the Zerker on that one a bit, but it also seemed a little dishonorable. <laughs> and now he says, was fighting, yeah, look, Indo, you gotta respond faster. Yeah, you only need to hit him with, like, a Y or an N. There you go, Elizer. Sorry, I'm trying to finish my my dinner. I'm going mic on and mic off, depending on when I need to take bites of a loud ass carrot. And this is matchup. If you wanted to see matchup, You think that's good enough for a recruitment message?
Yeah, KMT runs private a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. It's one of those open squad if you ask. Oh, do I think that's good for a greet my message? Um, not you. Move this somewhere else. I mean this. Ruthless told me that I should work on recruiting for KNT, so I worked on it. And honestly, very successful. I've gotten two recruits so far. So I'd say it's going pretty well. Got two people interested in joining the guild. I'd like to stream comms, I really would, so that like people can follow the conversation better, but not everyone in the squad wants to be broadcast to Twitch, so it's a more, it's it's just more respectful to not stream comms, because not everyone actually wants to be live all the time. So it's unfortunate for the for the viewer, but it's it's best for the uh, for the players. I don't think that's just DD. I think that's Bane too. All right, we got the tower defense credit. Now we can go. I hit him with mine. I got that emob on him. We can kill the caddis though. been reflected. That's unlucky. Go to mob. Alright, there we go. Uh, we've got a green group behind us. About seven people. They're not dropping, it's just poles. It's an unlucky time for Indo to push, but maybe just don't like form up on a parapet for 30 seconds. Can we? It was on the Lord. <laughs> just walk past Bane. Yep, just walk past this. We gotta go secure the ring. <laughs> there we go. Now, hop into map chat. We secured the tower. Don't worry. Ring was up, but we persevered.
What, D was? They thought. They thought and they tried. But nothing escapes the reach of expert PPT guild guarantee. That's a good push. This is a good choke for uh, Scorched Earth. It's a fine place to fight. Banner on you. Dodge to live, we're out of Zerg. Yeah, they're a little too big for us alone, but that's fine. I appreciate that Indo's given us the fight alone. It seems like a fight that we could probably solve if we can take a couple more cracks at it, but they are huge compared to us. Let's see what the fight bot says when it comes through. I'd guess probably like 50. Oh, with DD, I'd guess they were like 50, 65. I'm going to say 65. Fifty-three. Okay, I was a little over, but still, that's just us twenty. We've got no greens on us right now. This feels like a fight that we could probably win eventually. I don't know how patient people are going to be, though. Because there's definitely going to be some ugly wipes in here where we remind people to play well and dodge well and use stab well and drop resistance well. So we'll see. People might run out of patience for doing this before we manage to win that fight, but it's probably winnable.
Are you communicating this plan to Endo? Because he's going in. Ruthless thinks it's our turn, which is interesting. Choice words for our Mesmer. Endo's adding now. They did. They had to turn behind the. They had to turn behind the tower. Yeah, when we wiped, they had to turn behind the tower. I'm almost done with snacks, I swear. It feels like I've been eating for hours. But I'm I'm almost there. I've got two more carrots and I've got four like eight more cucumber coins. I'm almost done, I promise.
If I was still on Reaper, I would use a Greatsword 5 on that gate, just FYI. So if other Reapers aren't, you better get a second class ready. Okay. This group does not appear to want to fight us, incidentally. Got like a couple who dropped out and are running back in, but I don't really think this is going to be anything to fight. This, on the other hand, is like OJ's in camp. I don't think Ruthless has seen it. No, who's this tag? Bada, Drac, and TG tags in camp, Ruthless. Our camp just, it just flipped to them, so Bada's there. Okay. I don't think his mic is muted, I think he muted the rest of us and now can't hear us. Snack arc is over. Only gaming from now on. Only video games. Now, we are looking for Bada on this map. They have... <laughs> Pog Tasty indeed. <laughs> it's one of my favorite emotes, truly. Um, Bada took this camp along with TG. So we know they're on this map somewhere. 
There was a scout call that they were near Bay. Bay does have white swords. It's possible that someone else is contesting Bay and they're defending it and we can go bother them. That would be where I go. I don't know where my commander is going to go, though. My commander is very unpredictable tonight. My commander is mad at Indo because Indo is, quote, hogging fights on Greenbiel, which is not, like, exactly false, but also... We blast firefields, and then we push, and then either we die or the enemy dies. Indo takes, like, five minutes to form up for a fight, and then range kites for, like, another three minutes, and then finally engages, and then pulls off and gets his spawns back from respawn, and then pushes again. And all that is still one fight in his mind, so there's, like, a difference in terms of the raw amount of time that each group had to fight on enemy. We're like, all right, it's our turn. One and done. Get in there, fight, done. Indo's like, all right, it's our turn. Fifteen minutes later, he's done. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, I get where Ruthless is coming from, where he's like, I'm just going to leave maps, because the, the man is glacial for rounds. You got to get the pre-engagement speech. You got to get the, like the mid-fight refresh speech, you gotta get the post-engagement speech, and then you gotta get the recomp speech. I think this might have just been a tap, because white swords are gone. And I don't see anything inside. But they'll know. Feedback speech? Yeah, yeah, feedback speech. <laughs> you know. Because we were on Kining at the same time, when he was running around doing the Kining Alliance. We lived it. We're like Battle Brothers. Oh, shameless plug time for the stream. The local Walgreens started stocking bubbly. It is quite good. I advocate it. It's helping to cut down on sugar intake, and it's quite tasty. It is slowly replacing the amount of Red Bull that I drink every day, which is a good thing. Because the amount of Red Bull that I drank every day was already replacing the amount of just straight up corn syrup sugar that I was drinking every day in like a soda. And I will tell you this, we're seeing results on the scale that are slow but promising. Turns out drinking like 80 to 100% of your daily sugar intake every day in beverage form is not like a great health choice. Who knew? Not me. It was news to me. You'd think they teach you that kind of thing in school. They don't. They hide it from you. You only find out when you're old and fat and all the damage has been done. What is that? What is that? Is that OJ's in their camp? Let's see if I can catch this. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. It's on the camp lord. Alright, so who's flipping this? Let's take a look at who this flips to, if it flips. Pull it to, like, here, and we should be able to see it when it, when it fires. Oh, are gone. I mean, we, whoever's up there could also just, like, wipe. That's also a possibility. Bomb you at North Camp and say chat. Bomb? Bomb BB? You guys at North Camp? Is that OJ's? From you? Whatever it is, it hasn't flipped. So blue has successfully defended it. That's got to be Bada. 
It's big enough to pop OJs. And they lost the fight. It's gotta be Bada. Anyone know how to drop those shape marks? Yeah, they're key bindings. Default is Alt 1 through 0, I think. Ooh, it's a decade enhancement station. I can touch that. You gonna drop a bank for the rest of us? You have a bank you can drop for the rest of us to get primers? Oh, thank you. So kind. You're just so thoughtful. Ah, whatever. Two hours is still pretty good. Oh, there's orange dots here. <laughs> who's, who's this? Who are you? This is Bada. It's Bada and TG. Or you can just like talk to him and make him spin endlessly. Okay, you're right. Alright, step one, get in combat. Step one, wait for your commander to blast fire fields. Step two, get in combat. I need those downs. Now that we're in combat, give me Berserker, Scorched Earth, Scorched Earth, Swap, Launch, and then just like get out. Chill with some of your weapon skills and then go deep on them. Drop your CCs over here, swap again. Scorched Earth, like this guy. Oh, I'm still in Hammer. That's fine, this also works. And then weapon swap. And then, I don't know, you... Oh, I'm out of Berserker. That's fine. That's still an alright showing. Peak performance. Peak performance! He's cracked at Down's contribution. Bane slash Godel SMC. No Q currently. Okay. We're gonna let him flip it first to demoralize the pugs, and then we'll go there. No, but we care about the guilds that are there, but you're right, we'll let it flip, all the pugs will become demoralized, and then we'll strike. Except Indo's gonna go there immediately, and then we're gonna get queued out. You don't know that until we go. It's like, it's like Schrodinger's queue on EBG right now. It's both queued and not queued until it's observed by someone who tries to go to the map. Brother, I don't care about SMC either. I just want to fight Bane and Godel at the same time. Should get like a tag credit here. We have an E waypoint on SMC. I didn't mean all that. Just let that shit flip. That's disgusting. Instead of airship and cannons, yeah, apparently. It's okay. A player is more powerful than a cannon. Holy cow, we won a skirmish? It's crazy. This is a this is a new FA. Landclaimer? Landclaimer is a daily. That wasn't done. It was a it was a three step joke.
There's a new infusion? In what? Oh, shit. I gotta look at it next time it pops up. Oh, I got a feast box. Nice, I'll save that for now. Enchanted music box. Oh, I was wondering what that was. It's an infusion? I thought it was like a toy or something. So... Silent Symphony. This... This thing is apparently brand new. And I guess it's the only place to get it right now? I haven't seen it yet. And probably never will see it. Confirmed. But, um... That sounds neat. I wonder what it looks like. Maybe it's like floating music notes or something like that? Where are you going? Where are you misting? Nice reflect. You're just gonna mist off the hill, probably? Yep, off you go. And then you're gonna die to fall damage? Later. Didn't quite time that one right, huh? Bada at spawn, starting to drop in. So we got TG, that, and Bada. Got one down here. We can also get into combat. Should probably get into combat. Alright, here's that and Bada and TG. That's a veil. We dodge bag one. Oh, he's going forward? Alright. Well, I guess we'll just launch this in here. I'm gonna drop a banner on that just to confirm all those, and then we'll leap in here. And then we just want to get adrenaline back so that we can leap again. I don't think it's going to happen. Everything around us is dead. There's one. Get those last couple. Where are you going? Huh? Oh, you're a Tempest? You're just going to miss. Go on. Do it. See if you can time the dodge right. Nope. Goodbye. And then kill that Berserker. I can get through this wall. I can get through this wall. There we go. That's a soft DH. Holy cow. I'm being bullied by the shield gen. <laughs> Alright, kill these trebs first. Have I missed with both these projectiles? I have. I'm hitting this wall behind it. Yeesh. There we go. Now we're hitting it. Did not hit it with that. Oh, come on. I want to go down the ramp. I want to go. I want to go down. Fire a Scorched Earth down there. Convert all these downs. Can I get one more Scorched Earth off? Am I so lucky? No. Not fast enough. Does Signet of Might extend my Berserk? No, it doesn't. It's a smaller second group coming in. I've got a Zerk ready for that. Goodbye. Got a lot of downs down there, but I don't think we can capitalize right now. That one? Um, I think maybe I can kill that? Yeah, sort of. Wish I had Zerk for this, but he debated my cooldowns pretty hard when he said he was going to push and then didn't. Okay, I'll shield down an AC, like, here? I can't see shit. I mean, we've got him down, at least. So, there's that. really hot out here. 
Not sure where I want to send this Berserk. I think I want to send it back into Lord's Room. All these people overextended here. We can convert all of that. I'm gonna... Leap just right at the top, I think. So get me down, and then fire a Scorched Earth back up here. And then as soon as I have Hammer, I want to swap again, because I really want to drop Hammer 3s in this Lord's Room. We're pushing out along the wall, we're going to the cannons in front. Good time to use tactics. We're being catted from their spawn. Jesus. Dropping. This guy's noting? Excuse me? Don't you dare. Alright, we are ready to launch Scorched Earth down this ramp. Can get some damage on that. Bannering Lord's Room. Stomps. Thank you. I got a nice banner compliment. That's the first time that's ever happened. I really screwed up there, though. What I needed to do... So adrenaline was the resource that I was short on. I needed to... just launch the hammer F1. And then weapon swap. And then use the Zerk. And instead I used it before I swapped, so when I got into Longbow, I had nothing left. I basically missed an entire Scorched Earth there. Which is not good. Nice Aegis. Good Aegis uptime for that push. Okay, you. I think I can get you. I don't think I can get you. Okay, Zerker's back up. We're just farming Adrenaline now. Adrenaline, Adrenaline, Adrenaline. And we're looking for where the stack is. The stack looks like it's left. So we want to be ready to pivot into Lord's Room and then fire it left side. I think we might have missed the window. So I'll shoot one bag in, and then I'll swap, and then I'll hammer leap. Got plenty of adrenaline for this. So let's not screw this up. We leap, swap. We uh, use our might signet, and then we fire the zerk. That's what we needed to do last time. We got a little emote, which kind of screwed us up, but we did much better that time than we did last time. I wish it's portal. I don't know. I'd rather be in hammer here. For people like you. I think I can probably afford to zerk here. Mostly just to, like, do that, and it'll be back up by the time Bada gets back in. Convert a couple off of it. Is that gratuitous meter padding? Yeah, like, sort of. But I did kill, like, three people with it, so... What's your deal? You just, like, chillin'? What's up, Nova? How you doing? You guys done on red? Because if you're done on red and there's content over there, I'm gonna <laughs> let my commander know that that's happening. Lof got bannered. That's oh, content died. Never mind. I was just kidding about all that. We'll stay here. We've got content. Oh, also, I'm like mega slouch mode. Hang on. 
Let me sit up for all of your professional follows that are coming in here. Out here looking like a damn gremlin in the corner of the screen. Yeah, we've got we've got Bada and TG, so it's like it's stuff to do. We had Bane, but we don't really like have Bane anymore. You know how it is. Thanks for the follow, Dad Rat. I'm glad you respect posture around these parts. Me too. I'm I'm a noted posture admirer. Yeah, we got that call. Like I wanna be on EBG right now, but Ruthless is like, nah, let it let SMC flip, let it burn. I don't care about the realm and all that other stuff that he says, you know. I wanted to be there for the realm. But I I was voted down. I don't hold that much power. Nice <laughs> Zerk. Did I get you with that? I think I clipped you with that MO, but you had resistance. You're very lucky. Yeah, I think EBG is just the place to be right now, unfortunately. Because I'm sure it's mega queued now. He has Q47. So I'm guessing Indo probably went there too. Which means that, like, our map has Bada, and there's probably nothing anywhere else because Bane was the only thing to do on Green Bale when we started. What's your problem? <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Did you not glide? Oh, that's unlucky. Maybe he didn't have mastery. <laughs> like, I only hit you with an Amob. You didn't have to leave. I guess that could have been Trapper runes. Bane plus Godel on EBG. Fear plus Doc for green. Okay. Uh, we're getting Veiled onto right now, by the way. Hold on. I gotta fight a group really quick. Oh, I've got him caught. I don't want to do banner just yet. Gotta please, just give me one more F1. There we go. Now I'll banner. There we go. I think I got one stop out of that. That was a that was bad adrenaline management there for a hot minute. We probably should have waited for one more scorched earth. Cardio week. You every week is cardio week, man. Red is clouding EBG, should probably call him out for being shit. I don't do that. I'm a very, like, polite person. But also, you don't have to tell me, because I've got an account on Emery Bay, and I play with Bane and Godel sometime, and I'm disgusted by my own server's actions. Like, you go back into the VOD from yesterday, I was playing with Bane, it's disgusting. I had to kill a shield gen that was built in SMC Lord's Room. I don't think I've ever seen anyone build a shield gen in SMC Lord's. It was disgusting. <laughs> I was ashamed of my home. I was ashamed of the community that has taken me in. I'm ashamed of people who I thought were my friends. Not like I talk to them or anything like that, but like we're on the same server, so we're friends, right? But, like, at the same time, it's good. Because the only experience that I have playing on FA is playing with Hate, playing with KNT, and sometimes popping in with, like, what Nova's doing. So I'm like, yeah, FA's a fight server. All they do is, like, fight guilds. And then you play a server that's, like, against FA, and the only thing you ever see is, like, a 100 QI cloud and a 100 BB cloud, and you're like, oh my god. This is how this is how it really is. <laughs> it's very different. It's very very different. That's that and Bada and maybe like a couple of No, maybe that's just that. I can't quite tell. You could also sandswell up there if any uh, necros want a template swap. That's okay, we've got three Necros. Yeah, technically. Nothing, don't worry about it. You're not doing anything. Indo offline. Huge intel. The SMC dream might be alive. You're getting mortared from the... from Bay. Disgusting. Please, please stop. 
boxes. Okay, where does the Scorched Earth go? I don't know, just send it. And then we're going to like here. Give me a banner of tactics. I'm seeing a couple downs there, I can stop those. That's two confirmations, I think. I want to get in there. I want to get in there. Swap me, adrenaline me. A lot of ages we ate on that. That's unfortunate. And then they just pulled off. That was a bit of a waste of a of an SE at the end, but Zerker was ending anyway. It's not like you're not going to fire it off. That's a lot of green behind you. Hold the phone. All right, we got Punk here. And Zerka's back up. Very exciting. Just stay in combat. Fire it in. And then get to my commander. Because he's deep. Tactics. Leap again. Swap. Eh, just give me like a 2-1 and then swap me, I guess. And then give me like a Scorched Earth on you. That pushing back slowly. You know what's messed up about Berserker? And if anyone here mains Berserker, like, feel free to backseat me. I felt like I crushed that rotation. I felt like our initial SE was insane. I felt like we fit as many damage skills as possible inside of our Berserk window. I was fourth on damage? There were three Berserkers that played that fight better than I did? By like a not insignificant margin? That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know that I'm ever going to understand Berserker. I'm giving 100% out here. And it is not enough. And it's not enough by like a relatively wide margin. Like, my arc is reset, so we can't check, but still. Kill his yak, at least. I know how to do this. Son of a projectile got blocked. <laughs> Fucking involved guard stood in front of my arrow. Making me look like a damn fool. How much R.I. you got? 12 seconds? I can wait that out. Like, I think I'm good enough at Zerker. I do not know how to find that next gear. Bro built a regular AC in blue SMC. Listen. If I could get there, I would get there. But I'm not calling the shots tonight, because I'm not driving. If it was Bullyfoot, he would have started on the map. If it was me, I probably would have queued for it like 30 minutes ago, when we were done with Bane. Ruthless thinks different, though. That's kind of rude to just interrupt that res. I think we can still get it, though. Are you really just going to push off of this? We're trying to res people here. Alright, now it's time to punish. Just hold the Zerk. Oh no, that's the Lion. I don't want to hit that with Scorched Earth. I've blundered. So I understand why I'm not going to be good on this fight. With this fight, it's going to be pretty obvious. Can we generate, like, any downs, please? I just want to banner someone. There's there's a banner, there's a banner, there's a banner. Get stomps. They're also, like, not nearly big enough for this. We are substantially larger. We don't really have any other groups on us, but still. Our R23 feels quite a bit larger than that right now. Sorry, R22 feels quite a bit larger than that. our camp. Why check it? Alright, so what's the next plan? Where do we think Punk is going to go? If I was Punk, where would I go? 
Like up here, maybe? Maybe try and poke Gary from the other side? But I don't know. I can't, I can't tell you that I think like Punk all that often. I don't know very much about them. We do one. Oh, bomb is on us. Sorry, I shouldn't have slandered that like that. So this is just us. We are 22. That is 25. So these are going to be evens. Which means we're going to have to play sharper. That's the commander. I don't want to snipe that, necessarily. I do want to get in combat, though. This is my best opportunity to do that. Just fire a longbow through in there, probably. That's going to get reflected. Yeah. Let's kite it. We're in combat. As long as we can maintain it. I can absolutely maintain it off of you. You are not positioned well. Alright, so... Mismanaging Zerker right off the start. That's not a great start. So fire this in here, swap, leap, and then I'm precasting a banner. I think maybe we got one. This is a horrible fight already. Remember that time I was like, we're gonna take this alone, so we need to play careful? Turns out I didn't mean that at all. So, we've got Zerk in two and one. Put me into hammer. And then Zerk, leap, heal, leap. Just front load CC onto this tail. Lock him up as they try to leave. And then catch these couple back here. That was not a good fight. That was a bad fight. He's gonna be dead under you. Never mind, he's out. Holy cow. That's not a good Berserker showing. I understand why people are above us on damage for that one, for sure. What's up, Pixie? What's going on? Finished up doing our map train for the day, now we're off into World vs. World Land. How is, uh, how's following Nova been for you guys? I've been meaning to follow, I've just been super busy this week doing the PvE map trains and stuff. You guys finding good stuff to fight? <laughs> In like a good... Oh, hang on, is Nova still here? No, oh, man, he's not. In like a good way or a bad way? <laughs> is he W-keying or is he the one who is being W-keyed? Hang on, I gotta fight this group really quick. That's their Zerkers getting in combat. I would like to do the same. I'm in combat, so let's maintain this. We really do not want to fall out of combat here. Launch that. I'm gonna stay for one more Scorched Earth. Like here. And then this is what I want to leap on. Show me downs. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to convert that. I missed it. No! <laughs> I thought I had that for sure. Now we're just waiting for Zerk. Zerk in three seconds. Zerk up. Send it right in there. Right into him. going to be like a bit of a wasted Scorched Earth there, unfortunately, I think. <sighs> That's bad. I should leave. Here, just give me like my self-stab for a little bit. Got Zerk in three, two, one, zero. Leap, heal, leap. That's still hot. Like, they've got a lot of bomb left in them.
So what we can do here is we can go Scorched Earth, Swap, Signet, Leap, Jump. Oh, it's so hot. 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 We gotta leave. We gotta get the heck out of here. I might die to fall damage here. I'm fine. Never mind. <laughs> Whew. Zerker is up. They're dropping. Launch it. That's honestly a great punt. I have banner up. I want to be able to use it before I die. Just wait for people to get low. I'll drop a banner in the tail on that. Got him. That's a bad leap. And then swap me. It's not like good Zerker stuff, but I've had a lot of other stuff I had to do in that fight. You have Zerk up in two, one, up, Zerk up. Yeah, he's pulling all the way off. We've we've lost too many here. Actually no we haven't. We only lost like two people. Three people. We're just low on cooldowns, we gotta get cooldowns back. Okay, now I can reach chat, sorry about that. Good, didn't have any players got Yeah, that's the way it goes. And then Scourge self lack feels so good. Do you not comp for a lack? Do you not have uh, Chronos and Tempest doing it? Because I've been thinking about the Scourge Alak stuff, and it is like, your self alack is pretty good, but the issue that I've always had with Scourge self alack, rather than comping for Alacrity squad-wide, is that if your Alacrity isn't consistent, you desynchronize your wells, which means that not every Necro has their wells ready at the same time, and your spike turns into just like staggered damage that's a lot easier to heal through. I've been thinking about it. I really want to like... I think it's probably good for following like a pug tag. So that you just have yourself a lack and you can drop wells on cooldown where you've got a bit more agency. But I think like the more organized your group is, the worse it's going to get because it's going to pull you out of sync with other necros. Unless you have alacrity comp wide. And if you have alacrity comp wide, you don't need the self alacrity because a Tempest or a Chrono is going to be way better at it. That's a Veil. We're going to dodge back one. Let's launch it. This seems like a safe spot to be for a little bit. I'm just going to chill and then I'm going to balance dance and leap. And then I'm going to swap. Dropping a banner, dropping a banner, dropping a banner. Canceling. Didn't cancel in time. Unfortunate. Uh, maybe I still hit people with it, honestly. Is there a better choice in the Grandmaster? No. But is there a better choice in the Master? Zerker's up. Is there a better choice in the Master? Yes. Sandstorm Shroud is. I think this is going to mostly miss, but maybe we can catch a couple people who are in the tail, and then catch a couple people going through the choke. That's all we're going to be able to get. They can damage through the wall here, though. Careful. I'm in a ton of damage. I need to drop a banner for this. This is just a wasted... Oh, they're, they're veiling. They're veiling. I see. Nice veil. Really nice veil. We've got four seconds on Zerk. I'll just dodge for a little bit. And now I've got it up. Leap. Heal. Leap. Swap. SE. It's going to be hard for them to recover from this. That's a big spike that we just got off. Yeah, we just dropped a big spike on them. And then swap me. Just leap. Use balance dance just to live. And then we take their spot. We need to be really careful here. Zerk 5. Are they pulling off? Surely not. They've still got plenty. I have no stab. My Firebrand has no stab. I've got my banner. I'm holding my banner. We're fine. 
I'd rather be on longbow, I guess, but man, this is going to be awkward cooldowns because we don't have Zerk for like 15. That was a good fight. I had fun. I wish I had been recording because that was... That would have been like a really... Oh no, I'm an idiot. I fell. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I fell off. Bro, help, I fell. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm back on tag. I'm fine. <laughs> this should be an interesting spot to put a Scorched Earth. We need like a banner on us. I'm looking for a banner opportunity. I just want to see downs, man. They're so tanky. They're so tanky. Go through them. Banner opportunity. Just don't die. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's not the, that's not the greatest. Now, I'm going to get yelled at for falling off that bridge for sure. In three, two, one, point five, point two five. Nope, not getting yelled at. Saved. Also, we're cracked on damage. He's so back. He's so good. He's so back, and he's so good. Oh, he doesn't combat for twice as long as Overlord was. Never mind. He's so washed. Anyway, um, is there a better clip in the Grandmaster? Is there a better choice in the Grandmaster? No. There's not. But there is a better choice. Like, most of your personal alacrity is actually coming from Feed from Corruption. It's not coming from the alacrity trait at all. It's coming from giving yourself barrier every time you strip a boon, if you're running Feed from Corruption. In that category, I think Sandstorm Shroud is a lot better. Find a key to set timestamps. Excuse, you can do what? Can you DM me the. Oh, find a tool for it. Okay. Yeah, I should find that. I was talking to Amanda about this. I was like, I need to find an easier way to like just make clips. Where I'm like, oh, something interesting happened on stream. Clip that. I do not know what that tool is, though. Yeah, I gotta I gotta look into that. I know that you can do like slash marker to divide between like actual chapters. Also, you know what? This thing, this shit is way too high. Is this better? Can I slouch now? Oh, so much better. Yo, this is comfort for the rest of the stream now. <laughs> I'm not lurking like a goblin at the bottom of my webcam frame. Also, thanks for the follow, Foxy. How you doing tonight? You playing or are you just waiting for Bully to take up on Thursday? I'm doing good. We got good fights tonight, which is nice. I've been enjoying it a lot. That is a great group to fight against. Alright, get in combat. We're in combat. Just send it straight up. Swap. Get ready to leap. Where's my adrenaline? Bro, my adrenaline? There we go. No, oh, please. My stun breaks. That needs to be a banner. Kyoshi got his off faster than mine. Son of a... He's too good. Hey, we should be fine here. This is going to be a clump of like four of them. Yeah, we need to grind that. They're Im up immediately. Alright, fine. Just front load all this with CC then. Nobody gets through this. And then ship a Scorched Earth right down the choke. Not bad, not bad. Damage looks, like, pretty bad for what we were working on, but still. And now we just got a couple blues watching. I think I can get you. Never mind, I can't get you. You're too strong. Is this an honorable 1v1? I can't tell. 
seeing a lot more Reapers. Well, have you seen? I, I actually don't know. I think there's... Scourge got worse. Even before that. Why do you bring a Scourge to a group? You bring a Scourge to a group because in any group you need to be able to remove boons from your enemy. And you have a couple different ways that you can accomplish that. You can either go for absolute maximum strips possible. You can bring something like Chrono. That also gives you like a bit of utility. Things like Veil. Things like uh, Alacrity Uptime. Things like Quickness Uptime if you're running Quickness. You could, in the old days, bring Spellbreaker if you wanted a class that did like strips and CC. And also gave you a little bit of like support utility because Warhorn 4 or 5 are pretty good at cleansing. Or you could bring Scourge, because Scourge has a damage component to its strips. So when you bring a Scourge, you're bringing like half a damage. In the new world, where the um, where the June 27th changes have taken place, Scourge damage requires sacrificing a bit of corrupts, and or requires sacrificing a bit of strips, and your overall damage profile is a little worse because you don't have corrupts anymore. Corrupts were, like, a decent source. Hang on, I might have to fight here. They're veiling. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to do this. And then this. Mm. Wish I had adrenaline. Now I do. Show me downs. You're a down. I can convert that. I can convert that. I wish I had heals, though. I'm hurting. I need to be really careful about standing in damage. Alright. Anyway, like I was saying, in the old days, that's why you would bring a Scourge. Scourge had that damage component to it, so it would help your squad damage while still allowing you to strip boons. You can't do that anymore. Oh my god, I've been pulled. Here, have a banner. I don't... Oh wait, I can leap that. Yeah, hang on. I can't? I've been a mobbed? <laughs> I got a mobbed! It's not my fault! Can you not greatsword leap that? Can you only hammer leap it? It's got a charge on three, doesn't it? Can't you just, like, charge across? Oh, uh, you can't... Okay. Gotcha. Okay. I understand now. I'm learning. Uh, where was I? Oh, right. Because you don't have that damage component anymore, I think it actually just makes more sense to bring a Reaper, because Reaper is, like, complete damage component. And the other thing that Reaper has going for it is with the Temporal Curtain nerf, where you can't Temporal Curtain from as far away anymore. Reaper's Greatsword 5 is actually, like, the longest AoE pull in the game right now. So I think that's what's pulling people towards Reaper, and that also kind of gets at what you were saying, Dwin Jobs, about why bring Scourge over Virtuoso. I don't think you would. I think the only way, reason you'd bring Scourge over Virtuoso is if you comp specifically for using Well of Suffering plus Well of Corruption as your spike damage, because that's still a good spike damage enabler. But if you're just bringing Scourge for like, oh, I bring Scourge because it does strips, I think you'd actually rather bring Reaper over Virtuoso or Scourge. Because Reaper enables a lot of different playstyles. It lets you cleave really hard in melee. It lets you pull people from range. It still has access to good boon corrupts. If you play Scourge Reaper. You also have Nightfall on your Greatsword. I think there's a lot of compelling reasons to run Reaper now, in particular. Uh, Scourge Truth does not go up those stairs, worth noting. This is really hot. I think I can afford to banner that. That's one conversion. I need balance stance for this. Just don't get crit. Forehead. I really want to leap. It doesn't have a vertical component to it. Noted. So like that spot? That's an incredible spot for a Reaper. Because Reaper Claw goes straight up that hill, yanks him right down. And you could see our Reapers pull that off there. Where they got three people out of that spot and pulled them back down onto us. Can you do that pull with a Mesmer? Yeah, but in that spot, a Reaper can get people from way further back than a Mesmer can. Like, way further back than a Mesmer can. 
Would I run the build from the video? It depends on your squad. If your squad is light on strips, yes. If your squad is running something like Virtuoso, like Windy is talking about, you could probably get away with just like full damage Reaper and have it handle that. Proper comp swaps at least two strips for Virtuoso. Well, it's not really like a swap, is it? Because Virtuoso still strips, right? So it's like, would you run Virtuoso over Chrono? Because I think most groups run like at least two Chronomancers, or are you saying you would drop like two damage classes for a Virtuoso? Like kick two Scourges out, run two Virtuosos instead. I don't think you drop something like a Berserker for a Virtuoso, for example. That's just way too much damage. At least two of the Scourges for Virtuoso. I could see an argument for that, yeah. The thing is, our Reapers have played Reaper for like a very long time, where they're competitive with Zerkers on a bunch of fights. I don't see a, a Virtuoso being able to do that, and while the strips are a bit lower, they're still competitive. But that's like a that's an us thing. And that's also the part that's like it's difficult to make videos to talk about world versus world builds, because at the end of the day, it's really just like how does your group use these classes? And I can't know that. So I can get people to like 80% understanding, where it's like, I understand how this class usually functions, but the only person who can get you to 100% understanding is by talking to the group that you're running with. I'll banner that. Get converted. Oh, it pleased my stab. It's very sick. That's gonna, that screws everything up. Like, do we still win the fight? But we don't win the fight because of anything we did there. That interrupt was so bad. Hey, my understanding of Virtuoso, and I haven't played it either, is that you're also pretty dependent on projectiles. You have some kind of profession mechanic that gives you unblockable, where you can like get around it somehow, but I don't know how dependent you are on projectiles unless you have like... 100% unblockable uptime. It's, for example, the same reason that Harbinger is, like, not good in Zerg Blight. Harbinger is an insane class. It is really good. If projectile destruction didn't exist. And because projectile destruction exists, it does almost nothing. Because all of your mechanics are tied to projectiles. Dodging makes your strips unblockable? Okay, so I could see that, like, being pretty close to permanent uptime. Yeah. Especially, because then you can do, like, Virtuoso plus, like, Support Vindicator for the extra Vigor uptime. You just get more dodges. I could see that being a really good comp, yeah. Good questions, though. And it's definitely... All that I know about Virtuoso comes from other people. I haven't played it yet. I actually haven't played Chrono... I haven't played Mesmer at all since the 27th. It's something that I need to sit down and do eventually. But it's not something that I've done yet. And so I'm relying very heavily on other people's knowledge about Virtuoso to catch it up. I did, but I think I might be revising my opinion. Which I maintain the, the right to do. Make a video on group comp requirements? It's in... Hold on, I have to fight. Give me the Scorched Earth here. Launch ourselves up. Hug the wall here, because they're going to drop off in this spot if they go anywhere. So we should avoid quite a bit of damage there. And then, are they just going to leave? Are we just going to hold? Yeah. Could make a video on group comp. So, what I'm actually thinking about doing... e point to EBG soon? Noted. What I'm thinking about doing soon, and by soon I mean like probably within the next 48 hours, honestly, is uh, start a series on commanding in World vs. World. And one of the main points of doing commanding in World vs. World is talking about like what is a good comp and what makes a good comp and how do you assemble a comp that 
does things that you want to do as a commander. Like, the way that you want to fight. Whether you want to fight melee, whether you want to fight ranged, whether you want to, like, use terrain, etc., etc. That feeds into the way that you would, like, construct a comp. So, it's... There's not, like, a... It's going to happen at X, Y, and Z times. It's more like... To talk about that topic, I think, requires a bit of context around what commanding and comping is in World vs. World, and that's... It's a topic that's so big, I'm going to have to take it apart piece by piece. But this week is when we're going to start the process of taking that apart and poking around at it and getting into, like, what is a good comp and why do people comp in World vs. World, which is, like, I'm really looking forward to... Uh, to tackling that topic, I think it's going to be super interesting, but it's also going to take me a long time to get through it. If you want input on that process, by the way, like if you want to look at draft scripts of the videos that I'm working on, you should join the Discord. You should give yourself the creative process role in the role selection channel, and uh, you can look at and give feedback on the drafts of these videos that I write before they actually go to YouTube. I am under no obligations to take any of your feedback, but it does help me think about things in a different perspective. Because I'm only like one guy, and I only play with a couple guys. It may surprise you to know there's more than a couple guys who play World vs. World. It's like at least a dozen guys. Hang on, I can gamble quick? No, worthless. Hang on, I can gamble quick? No, these don't do anything. Do I have any of the encryption boxes? No. No more gambling. There's nothing left to gamble on in the inventory. Not sure what the plan is. I think the plan is to like wait and figure out what Indo's doing. Oh, the plan is to wait for RI, probably. Good courage for. So let's try this, right? I go like this. And like this. Oh, he can do it. He's pogging. I'm going in. I'm killing this archer. Look for people near you. What are you? Deadeye? You can't get me up here. What are you going to do? Pull me? Okay. There's one archer dead. Give yourself more stab just in case. Maybe a dead eye can pull you, who knows. This has one up? Alright. Does Meta Battle have one up yet? Because I know the Meta Battle is the one that are re-curates, right? I don't actually know who curates Guild Wars 2 Mists. There's one bits in testing? Okay. Yeah, that's my sense. I, I I look at the videos that I've made since the 27th, and I'm like, man, I really have not accomplished a lot. I revised Firebrand, and I revised Necro, and that's it. And it's been, like, close to a month, but I also think it just kind of takes time to digest big changes to the meta like that. So at the end of the day, I don't feel, like, too bad. Maybe if this was, like, my actual career, but it is not. So, like, you get as much time as I've got available to give to it, basically after all my other obligations are done. And to be fair, I'm, I don't like the Intro Scourge build. I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't notice that Dagger 5 wasn't a strip anymore. That was like a, a core memory for me about how that skill works, and I did not even notice it in the patch notes, but I think the Firebrand video and the Advanced Reaper video, and the Advanced Scourge video, all came out really good. I'm, I'm pleased with them. So, if it takes a little longer to get those videos out, but they've got a slightly higher level of polish, that's fine. Blue and green map gloves are on EBG, no point in looking for them. I know, but we can't get there. We missed our window to get onto EBG, and now that window is closed. No supply. No problem. We've just been talking about, like, video stuff. Video stuff, build stuff. 
I check out Taigeta, don't worry. I check out Taigeta a lot. There's only like four people who I follow a lot on YouTube. He is definitely one of them though. I think he does very high quality videos and builds. I should be in longbow here. What am I doing in hammer? I gotta focus up. I turned my mind off for like 10 minutes. Get me in combat. Walk into that fire field. Don't evade! Eh, it's, it's still fine. Just kite this bomb out. It's gonna be a fake push. They veil. They're not turning on it. Well, they're turning slowly on it. That's gonna be a, a bad spot for them to get caught. We go all the way through. Banner that in the tail. Cancel it. Someone else converted it first. Give me, like, one more stack of downs here. Yeah, there's one. I'll convert that with a banner. He's full dead anyway. Look, I tried. It's a wasted signet of might. But there's just... There's nothing to bomb anymore. I was worried that... Tegeta's video output was going to drop when SF folded, but I'm glad that he's still doing his thing. I guess he's just probably running with CO now, because it seems like it's where most of SF went. What is going on down here? EBG right now is Godal and Bane versus Fear. I want to go to there. <laughs> why? Why can't I be on EBG? I honestly, I think he went to EBG and he DC'd because I saw him pop off of my online list a while ago. He might have DC'd and then lost his spot. Yeah, that's where everything is right now. Circle's getting trolled by a bunch of yaks. <laughs> Get out of here. Filthy animals. Let's see if Worm is up. Worm is not up. Someone's just waiting for it. Yeah, I know. I want to be there, but I can't be there. I honestly, I would rather fight Bane and Godel. I think they're much more interesting to fight. Like Doc and Fear is just bags, and then eventually they stop bothering you. But Godel and Bane will like stick around and are a better and more interesting fight. What, are you going to try to pull them to another map? Because we know they're on EBG. He's thinking maybe we pull someone onto a different map here because we're never getting onto EBG. we got to threaten some PPT somewhere else in order to get them to come and play with us. This is not going to do it. That's paper. Nobody's going to come save this bay. Where could we go instead? Zero <laughs> shot. What is going on on FABL? And this? Who cares? Hey, man, there's nothing to pull any fight anywhere. Bane doesn't care about people. They'll respawn sometimes. Vashot's like 25%. He'll actually move when I say that there's a fight going on on another map. 75% he doesn't care, but he'll show up every once in a while. Go oh, red to BL? I don't know about this. What's on red? I'm very in combat. There we go. Is there someone fighting? Okay. <laughs> yeah, fair. That's fair. 
I do like following Vashat, though. He's an interesting guy. I've had a lot of fun on my Emery Bay account. Wish I had a couple more accounts that I could play with people on. Maybe next time they're on sale, I'll grab one. Like, I was talking to, um... Oh, who was I talking to? Uh, Cinderella. That was it. I was talking to Cinderella and, um... No, I'm gonna forget. <laughs> Son of a... Sorry, my mind is going. Cinderella was definitely one of them. Who is... Grimaldi, BP's guild leader. I was talking to them off and on. I bet BP would be a fun group to follow around, but I don't have a Borless Pass account. And I definitely don't have a Dragon Brand account. But if I were to make like another Guild Wars account, and I've got three already, so it's pretty unlikely that I'd be making a fourth, I think BP would be a fun server to just chill on. It goes through phases of like all of the sweaty GVG ringer and tryhard guilds are there, and absolutely no one is here, and it's a dead server, which makes it ideal for, like, you know, a backup account. When the guilds that you like and are interesting to play with are running, you can swing by, and when they go into hibernation because it's GVG winter or whatever, then, you know, you can come back to Fort Aspenwood, which is the ultimate retirement home for guilds. You've got Bomb, and you've got Hate, and you've got KNT, and they will probably never go anywhere, because they just like hanging out with one another and don't really care what the game is doing. Here it is. I don't think I have anything else to do here. Eh, I can open you. I can open some of you. Get rid of you. Good enough. I don't see anything here yet. Two golems on inner hidden and hut at airkeep. Maybe something's at airkeep? It's not ours. I wonder if those are our golems that are hidden there? I hope not. N mid? Punk is here somewhere. So Punk is here. If we can just find them. Ruthless, you're asking... Ruthless, you're asking where Punk is? This man in map chat is trying to describe where two golems are hidden in airkeep. You're pursuing alternative goals right now. <laughs> Hang on, I'll show you. There's nothing bad in squad chat right now, so I can do it. So, who is it? It's... Teddy Ruxpin is like, not much, Punk is here somewhere, Northeast Tower. And then he says, two golems on inner hidden in hutted airkeep. And then we're trying to figure out, what do you mean, like, which hut in Airkeep are the golems hidden in? But Man's up here thinks he's trying to find where Punk is. It's it's just a disaster. Everything's going wrong. And it's not even ours. So it's like, what are you going to do? Cat is still on North Airkeep? Identified. We did it. This doesn't accomplish our goal of finding where Punk is, but it was entertaining, I guess. Wait, hold on. For the... For Chunks of Ancient Amargus and Fishing, I was in Labyrinthine Cliffs, and is it true that they just want every fishing node there? Because I saw, like, a Boreal spot, and a River spot, and then, like, a Saltwater spot. I think it's every node in Labyrinthine Cliffs. That's kinda sick, if you need to fish. I might chill out there and just farm Amargus for a while. Also, you have to change, what, maps every 10 minutes because people are so in and out? Bape? You have to do that anyway. Like, yeah, constant. How do you fish? <laughs> I don't know.
Excuse me. I'm still awake, I just need to get more oxygen up to the old brain. How are we doing Q-wise? EBG still 23? It's never happening. Oh, Golem! He's done it. He hit it in the hut, and now he's bringing it out. It's his moment to shine. And he's not going to make it to the wall. Wait, does he splash there? 19? No, he doesn't. He's moving on. He tried. <laughs> he gave it the old college try. That is not going to work for him, though. We're just moving in. Well, the Leviathan farm is also just, like, sneaky good gold. People are like, oh, kill the Leyline Anomaly for your Mystic Coin every day? That shit is snooze. You kill the Adolescent Leviathan every day? It's like two and a half gold in hamburgers. It's crazy. It's like a second set of dailies. You can what? I thought it was once per day. Oh my lord. You can kill the Adolescent... Fucking... Leviathan 10 times a day? That's so much money. I gotta be doing that. Why bother with World versus World? Dude, I'm, I'm missing out on so much gold. I don't think Punk left the map. I don't think Punk was ever here. I think you got lied to by a scout. Wait, I don't have to type in Twitch chat, I can just say it. Uh, the Adolescent Leviathans in Kantha. So, Adolescent Leviathan is a guaranteed drop of... Chunk of Ancient Ambergris. Which is two gold even. You get one every time you kill it. You can kill ten a day. That's twenty gold a day in doing an Ancient Leviathan farm. Plus, like, if you're going to craft legendaries, you're going to need a bunch for legendaries. That's a good farm. And you get fishies. Yeah. Which is, like, maybe even more chunks of ambergris. I think we're, we're slowly running out of things to fight here, friends. We made it to 11, but I don't have a lot of hope for this last hour. Come on, Westgate. I'm not commanding, and I'm afraid on my own. I'm a very small, vulnerable boy. Why don't you come to Northgate? I'm just a little zergling. I couldn't hurt a fly. Ham's Lab, Couple Green. That's Prob DUI. SMC is ours. No! No! You were supposed to bring balance to the PPT. Hang on, this is an opportunity. Good job tagging up to flip SMC, everyone. Okay, time to log off and get a good night's sleep. See you tomorrow. Okay, now we wait, and then we go to EBG. Just wait. Watch the queue and just wait. No, he's tagging down. <laughs> my plan, my plan. Turn around. Yo. Okay, you need to run now. You need to go away. <laughs> Never mind, he's fine. It's a it's a stream sniper. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the instant conversion. Both Godel and Bane take down. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Sorry, it was a bag delivery service. Is actually what they said. There we go. You did not give me a bag, unfortunately. Thanks for tag, by the way. I didn't, I didn't invite that on you. Alright, we're just going to be done an hour early again then. Um, I've got a, a dog that we're dog-sitting, so, you know, 
I'm going to go do that instead, reclaim an hour of my night. Let me walk you through what tomorrow looks like. Tomorrow is going to be Domain of Corna, 5 p.m. Eastern. We're going to do all of our achievements for Story Journal, Long Live the Lich, I think is Corna. Is this Corna? Yes, this is Corna. We're going to do all the stuff for Long Live the Lich until 9, and then at 9 we're going to play World vs. World again. So I will catch you guys around for that, if you're going to be around. Otherwise, there is the VODs channel, if you want to catch up on older stuff we've done on the channel. There's also the Discord, which only I am allowed to do, because I'm very important. If you want to get stream notifications and know when we're going live. And uh, I think that's all I've got for you. So I'll see you around for uh, map trains tomorrow for PvE. See you around for World vs. World if you're in the matchup. It's been a good one so far, as long as you can get on the right map. I've been having a nice time. And, uh, yeah, I, I think that's all I've got for you. So enjoy the rest of your night. Thanks for the follow, Felix. Sorry I'm just about to be done, but hopefully I can catch you around tomorrow and we can get some more stuff done. Till then, take care. Enjoy the rest of your night. And I'll see you next time.